Uh-uh, who's here? Oh my god! Wait a minute! Whoa! Is she dying? Oh my god! Hey guys! Welcome back to another part of The Sims 2 All-in-One. In today's part, Sage may or may not be having a guy on her rasta, soon to be feeding her pasta and lobster. Just kidding. In the last part, Sage and Malcolm had a mini outing and things got a little hot and heavy between the two, so I can see a romantic relationship forming very soon. Despite them developing crushes for each other very fast, I wouldn't be mad if they start dating because I can see that they're very compatible for each other. Also, since it is Monday, Sage will be opening the bakery, and because the bakery has been performing very well, I think it's about that time that Sage shows Selma the bakery. I strongly believe that Selma will be very impressed with Sage's progress in the bakery, but I'm not too sure if Selma will be reassured enough that Sage will be fine without the help of the recipe book. But like always, let's just get right into the gameplay. Long time, no see. I sincerely apologize with the inconsistency with this series. About five months ago, I upgraded my graphics card and ever since then, I've been having issues with running The Sims 2. So let me just start by saying, I tried to record this part maybe a total of six times and today must be a good day because it would crash nonstop. At first, I thought my game was crashing because of a mod or a broken piece of CC, but it wasn't. Comes to find out, it was reshade causing the crashing. I wasn't just experiencing crashing either. I had a very bad case of invisible soup, and the invisible soup was caused by reshade. Long story short, I reinstalled reshade about 15 times and then decided to use an older version of reshade, and it finally stopped crashing and giving me invisible soup. It was very weird, but I'm glad that I resolved the issue because I was so close to crashing out. Anyways, it is a Monday morning, Sage and Malcolm are at a local coffee shop having their very first date. I was actually contemplating on if they should have their first date this soon since they just met, but because Sage had a want to go on a date, I thought to myself, why not give it a try? I don't think anything could go wrong. I have a strong feeling that the date will be successful since they also have a lot of compatibility and mild chemistry. So currently there's two minutes and five seconds left of the date, and as I'm looking at Malcolm, Malcolm's once. He has interesting once, but they're waiting for their food right now, so I will try to complete some of these when they are done eating. I'm actually really shocked at what I'm seeing. Malcolm wants to have a baby. He wants to talk to Sage, play with Sage, get married, be friends with Selma, so he's very aware of her grandmother, and be best friends with Sage, which is actually really cute. The only thing that scares me is that Malcolm wants to have a baby and get married. Luckily, it doesn't say with who because Sage is not mentally or physically ready for any of that. But those kind of wishes is to be expected from Malcolm because he is family oriented and I just hope that if they do become something he doesn't rush her into things because that will destroy their relationship real quick. I don't know why these random sims keep wanting to greet Sage as if she's a celebrity or something unless they're recognizing her as the owner of the pastry palace but still I don't care get on her face she's trying to eat in peace. I I had Sage and Malcolm order the same thing. They are eating an omelet for breakfast. And if you're wondering why they're on a date so early, it's because Malcolm works and Sage has to go to the bakery around 1 p.m. So I'm just trying to be mindful of time, but they're taking forever to finish their food. Like stop yapping. They'll be here talking about criminals and crime getting arrested. I think that's what she's interested in, but what she better be interested in is finishing that food. Oh, okay, that's what I thought. I'm trying to get them to at least a dream date before the timer goes off, although the timer got extended. So I, this girl needs to leave me alone. What is her name? I don't even know how to pronounce that. I don't know nothing about that. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is talk to Malcolm because he wants to socialize with her some more. And then maybe we can play with him because they both want to play with each other as if they're children. All right, he has another want. See the ghost of Malcolm. Is that his dad? He want to see his dad die? 
Uh uh, what is going on? All right, let's play red hands with him. I was going to tickle him, but some Sims be feeling real offended. I don't blame him. I don't think I would want anybody to tickle me either, unless, you know, you're my girl or you're my man. But anyway, <laughs> keep talking. All right, enough talking. We already fulfilled that. She wants to, yeah, we're going to play with him. That's going to get satisfied. Oh, that just rolled the whole... Oh, hold on. She want to kiss Malcolm, make out with Malcolm, flirt with Malcolm, and give a back rub. Hold on, girl. He want the same thing? He want to make out as well, be flirted with by Sage. Okay. They're on the same page. I like what I'm seeing. I will say they are moving a little too fast, but y'all know this is The Sims. I'm just really happy that they're both on the same page because imagine being friend zoned. Oh yeah, I would have to skedaddle. Look at them, they are so cute. So he wants to really get a back rub. I'm trying, we're trying, that's the next thing. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and kiss him. I don't think we're gonna get a cut scene, but it would be nice to see because I love The Sims 2 cutscenes. I think I can trigger a cutscene with the ACR mod, but I'm not too sure. I'd be scared to use the ACR mod sometimes because it can get real freaky, let me tell you. They are so adorable though. Let me see, where is the ACR mod? I only see flirt and hug. What if I do like the wolf whistle? And then let me see if I get a kissing option. I don't, so I'ma just go right in with a kiss. I locked it in. She wanna immediately make out, girl, this is crazy. Let's just romantically kiss him. That's not enough. Okay, she wants to have a dream date. Let me lock it in. And we're just going right in with a makeout because that's what they both wanted. Oh my God, Malcolm wants to woohoo with Sage. Wait, but Sage doesn't have that want yet. So maybe she's not ready and that's fine because who would woohoo on the first date? I mean, I'm not judging, but we need to keep it classy. You know, never trashy. He want to woohoo for the very first time. Ah, uh, oh, wait, hold on. Oh, excuse me. Hey, I think I'm gonna take off. I'm not in a very good mood. Don't you care about what I need? Uh, excuse me? Thanks, that was really fun. Let's do it again soon. You're really some kind of date. Well, what does he mean by this right here? Uh, hold on. Y'all, I know Malcolm did not just sit here and play in Sage face. I hope he was talking about his needs of going to work and not his needs of wanting to woohoo because what? She was so close to getting that dream date too. Oh, he just pissed me off real bad, but that's okay because we got to go to work. We're technically going to be late, but it'll be all right. Don't get me wrong. I'm still happy to hear that he enjoyed his date with her, but the way he randomly left is diabolical. I think Sage deserves a cup of coffee before she goes to the bakery because it's going to be a long day. I can feel it. Oh, she look kind of emo. All right, that's giving. Give me my cup of coffee, please. And this better be less than five simoleons. I'm not playing. I'm on the broke side, low key. All right, she got her cup of coffee. That was 20 simoleons for that little macchiato. Ciao, we gotta get out of here. I will see you all when Sage arrives at the bakery. All right, Sage has arrived at the bakery with Selma. And as I mentioned earlier, because the bakery has been doing very well, this is a perfect opportunity to show Selma Sage's progress with the bakery. I'm probably not gonna assign any roles for Selma since she is still sick and I don't want her to contaminate anything. But if it gets busy, she might have to slap a mask on and start getting to work did y'all see the kiss that she gave her granddaughter maybe she's like proud of her and they're like laughing and talking about it now that is so good for the both of them since it has been a while i do want to refresh my memory and y'all's memory on the business information so the business rank is two the business value is at ten thousand simoleons and the customer loyalty stars is nine apparently sage needs three more customer loyalty stars to reach the next level and that should be light work i do remember from the last part that sage had her first negative review so hopefully we don't get any more of those and if you're wondering what sage is doing right now she's making more pie because they snatched up all the pies from last time and i forgot to make more pies i do remember from the last part as well that i had her make some cakes um i think today is a pie day i guess but look at all these customers i guess i should greet them after i'm done with the pie upstairs um, hmm, let me just greet everybody, especially the new people. He looks like he's new, what's his name? Let me see, Hugo? Yeah, he's definitely new, so let me basic sell him. Hurry up, girl. Oh, not this Jessica girl finding 
somebody to be attractive. This is not the hot spot for dating, babes. All right, we just basic sold him. I think this dude might be new as well. No, he's not. He's a regular. We're going to basic sell him and then Miss Rebecca over here basic sell. We can offer at cheap, but I'm trying to get my stuff at full price because, you know, money don't grow on trees around here. All right. I just found out about this really cool interaction. We can show customers the pies to like bribe them to buy it. Let me show y'all. We can show item to let's do Rebecca. I chose the most expensive pie, although I think all the pies are worth the same price. 110 simoleons. I would never spend 110 simoleons on a slice of pie. Let's see what she thinks. She just did it. And then you know what? I'm going to see if I can bribe someone else with this pie. How about Derek? Come on. Buy something. Get something. Oh, wait. Somebody's buying something. All right, Derek. She's working the register. She looks like she don't know what she's doing, but she'll figure it out. All right, did it work? Oh, she ready to beat up some customers. Oh my goodness. All right, y'all need to stop wanting to smell everything. Congratulations, your business is now rank three and you have gained a point to spend on the business perks. That's what's up. Honestly, when it comes to the business perks, I have no idea what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna choose assess desires because then she'll be able to find out what her customers want. I think that's what it's trying to tell me, all right? So we got our next business perk and she needs to use the bathroom pretty soon. So I'm gonna have her do that now before it gets really, really busy. And I'm going to clean the toilet. So it looks like Zoe is getting more familiar with the cash register, good for her. I wish I could promote her or could I? Let me see, management, you're fired. Oh, okay, set a uniform. I still haven't decided if I wanted to do that. Take a break, promote manager. Oh, I can promote her, but she'll be promoted to a manager. Uh-uh, I see a negative star. Why, Rebecca? Why? What do you want? I tried to sell you to something. Do I have to assess you? I'm going to assess her desire and, of course, her mood. She doesn't seem to be in a happy mood. So let me figure that one out. Oh, now she's going to go buy something. That's what I thought. Okay. Give it time. Why is her skin green? That got to be some type of glitch. Rebecca would probably like to check out the bread. Oh, she wants to buy bread. Rebecca seems to be in an average mood. Okay, then what was she fussing and huffing and puffing about? Let me basic sell Bertha. Oh, she's supposed to be an evil witch. Maybe it's a little glitched in this town. I don't know. We're supposed to be closing soon, but I'm going to keep it open for a little bit since I opened an hour late. Her granny keeps kissing her. She must be so proud of her granddaughter. I love that. Oh, there's Malcolm. This is Malcolm's dad that he wishes to see dead. And y'all excuse the lag. It's a little laggy in here, oddly. Um, I guess I should greet Malcolm. This is interesting. Be like, babe, I saw your dad for the first time at my bakery. Just kidding. We ain't calling him babe. We ain't dating yet. But um, I'm going to ask if I can help him. Like, may I help you? We need a shower pretty soon. And let me see if I can assess his desire. Are we doing pretty well? Okay. We're doing really good. We need seven more customer loyalty stars. That's a lot. We got to be on our bestest behavior. Let me see if I can do anything with Bertha. What if I offer her at cheap? I don't think I've did this before. If I did, y'all, I'm sorry. I don't remember. Malcolm would probably like to check out the serving platter. Well, babes, that is empty. You're going to have to come back another day when everything is back in stock. Y'all got to come early if y'all want to get some things. Girl, what's wrong with you? Jessica, you don't even want anything. All right, I'm going to basic sell him something. And why are you still in here? Do you need something? Let me assess his desire. I should have probably gave Zoe a break, but she seems to be all right. I really want to promote her. I feel like she deserves it, but not as a manager. I'm the manager or am I the owner? Yeah, I'm the owner, basically. Um, maybe I should make some more things. I don't know. I plan on closing around 9 p.m. So they better take what they can get. Actually, I'm going to close at 8.30 because it's been a long day and her needs is going down. All right, I'm gonna offer him at cheap. And I guess I'm gonna offer him at cheap too because he's been here for a minute and he can't contemplate on what he wanna buy. You need to get going. All right, that actually was the best thing I've did. Okay, cause our stars is going up now. All right, it is 8.39. Oh my God, we just had a customer come in. 
I hate to close on her, but listen, I need to put myself first. We are officially closed because she's getting hungry, tired, and we need to wash our buns. So he's going to buy something and then they can all leave. I'm going to send everybody home, meaning employees. Is he done? All right, great. We good. Wait, actually, let me tell everybody. Are you buying something now? Well, that doesn't even matter. Um, send all employees home. Have a good night, Zoe. We will see you another time. Do I have anything to clean? I know I still need to clean the stove, but it just won't let me. And the bathroom is clean. I cleaned that earlier. So I will see you all back at home. Sage and Selma are back home. Sage is currently showering and Selma is eating some dinner. Because Sage doesn't work tomorrow, I was thinking about having Malcolm come over tomorrow to meet Selma since Malcolm wants to befriend Selma. And because things Things are kindling between the two, as in Sage and Malcolm. I'm honestly waiting for Malcolm to autonomously ax Sage out, but I don't think that's possible in The Sims 2, or I could be wrong. Somebody clock my tea, please, if I'm wrong. All right, I'm going to have her use the bathroom, and then I'm going to have Miss Sage grab some dinner. She needs a meal. It's been a lot of hours since the last time she has eaten. And then I'm going to have her go off to bed. I don't know what this is, but I'm just going to choose it. It looks like... What is that? Salmon? Yeah, it's salmon. Leftover salmon. And she always coughs after a meal. This is like crazy. I'm going to have her do her dish. She's going to take a bubble bath. And Selma's going to head right off to bed in her pajamas. Okay? Selma needs some type of day or night quill or some other type of cough medicine because this cough is ridiculous. It gets worse in every single part. But she's still thriving. Oh, she about to... Ooh, she's about to croak anytime. I'm so happy that she got to see Sage's Bakery because she's getting there, honestly. All right, how are you looking? You need to do your dish and then I'm going to have her go to bed in her pajamas and I will see you all in the morning. It is now the morning. Sage is about to call her boo thing to see if he wants to come over. I hope he does. I'm pretty sure he will. Hopefully he's not working either. So let's call him on over, invite over and please don't bring any friends, not today. And I believe Selma is getting dressed for the day. How nice of you to invite me over. I'll gussy up and come right over as you should King. All right, what is she doing? She's about to use the bathroom. They're not hungry, but maybe they could cook a little something, a little breakfast for when he comes over, you know? Maybe he's hungry because it's literally almost 1030 in the morning. I am going to recycle this newspaper. We don't really read them. Oh, Malcolm is here. He came over real quick. That's what I like. All right, let's greet him. I was about to say, can we greet him? What a oh, I just realized he left her a rose. He might have just did that. That is so freaking cute. I got to put that in my inventory. Hold on. Give me a second. That is too cute. I want to read it. I had a great time, Flower. Oh, my God. Does it come with a note? It has to. I think I got to have her view it. I'll do it in just a second. Um, I want to admire him. You know, let him know that we like him and love him. Not Granny coming out. She's like, let me meet this young man that's flirting with my granddaughter. <gasps> They're in love now. That is amazing. Wait. Well, he's in love. She is not quite yet. Soon. She will be, hopefully. Be kissed by her grandmother. Well, family kiss. Dance? He is so romantic. Um, Let me give a romantic hug. And then I do want to read this letter. Well, not read the letter, but read the flower with the letter. And then Granny can talk to him a little bit, get to know this guy. Um, let's just chat. Leave your granddaughter alone. Oh, she's in love with him now, too. Fell in love with Malcolm. I love that. All right, enough. While they talk, read this rose. It's so pretty. Dear Sage, romance bloomed between us as this single flower shows. And as I think of you, my sweet, my longing love for you grows, Malcolm. I act like I can't read, but that is so cute. It sounds like poetry, low key. I'm going to throw that right in my inventory. She could put it in her room later on. Girl, don't do that. How about you, like, 
sir what time is it lunchtime okay let's serve some lunch let's have some grilled cheese sandwiches i'm not sure if he's hungry but just in case you know we got to be good for our guests all right let's talk to him about some hobbies maybe cuisine i don't think he's really into that but then we can share some interest y'all done chatting oh she about to pass out hold on i'm trying to get them to be friends not the grandmother find Malcolm attractive. Wait, what? They have strong chemistry, y'all. Strong. That is very strong. You're not getting him, babes. That is your granddaughter's man's. Don't do that. Hopefully they don't like flirt or anything, but I do see the hug and the kiss and all of that. All right, everything is going pretty well. Let's entertain him with a joke. Um... Maybe let's ask him his sign. She knows nothing about him. Let's ask what he wants and interests. All right, he, he likes a little bit of casino. Are you eating? Damn, she is eating without them. Can I like share a meal with Malcolm? Well, he can come in and, you know, eat for himself, I guess. Are you flirting? Oh, no, that's just how they do when you ask for a sign. I was about to say, my want, have a baby. Malcolm, please, 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 please. I bet Selma is like, I hope not with my granddaughter. Not yet. Learn couples counseling. She wants to be best friends with Malcolm. That is the ultimate goal. All right, let's ask him what his job is. Oh, wait, we already know. We already know. Um, hmm. Let's see what his skills are. Oh, she's stuck at the steps. Oh, he wants to get in the house. I guess we could take it inside. I'm pretty good at mechanical creativity and body. Well, we already know half of this stuff, so I don't even know why I'm bothering asking. I'm going to have her go to bed. I tried. I tried to have them be friends. Oh, wait, they are friends. That's good. They just want to be best friends. Well, she's not really feeling well, so maybe another time. Um, I'm going to have her take a shower again. I don't want her hygiene going down while her man's is here. I'm going to put away this grilled cheese. And then I kind of want to, you know, um, smoochy smooch with Malcolm. Let's smooch him and flirt with him. Maybe sweet talk and not the engagement and the move in. But I do want to, you know, low key go steady. He knows my granny. Everything is going well. So I think it's about that. Or should I just wait? until she wishes to do but she's not a romance sim nor family oriented so i don't think she'll ever roll that one or i could be wrong so you know i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it yet it's too early maybe she'll roll it i want to give her the benefit of the doubt but maybe they can like go for a woohoo let's see i'm feeling a woohoo since you know her grandmother is sleeping let's get frisky risky well i don't know about a risky woohoo but we can see what we could do is it casual oh now the kiss option is there um not the auto woohoo they could woohoo on a sofa what's will i woohoo sure i'm game where's the bed total score 131 attraction score 26 i don't know if that's good or bad but um ask malcolm to join you can't you can't ask malcolm to join Oh, I think there's something. The door? The door is in the way? He can't get in? Oh, the door was locked. I didn't even know I had her door locked, but that makes sense so that her granny doesn't bust in her room. The phone is just casually ringing, but we're going to ignore that. All right, I'm going to have them cuddle and then maybe make out a little bit. I do want to do a risky woohoo, but I keep forgetting how to do it. I don't know if I just press this or I just do casually i believe it's casually but let's go ahead and make out we might get a cutscene for this one y'all i'm a little nervous it gets real explicit around here in these streets i should have just waited until she wanted to woohoo with him but i know he wants to for sure so let's go ahead and go in with a woohoo bury y'all ears oh my god it's so loud i don't understand why oh. the cutscenes be so freaking loud in the sims 2 <laughs> So there goes their first woohoo in her granny's house. <laughs> Crazy. Oh my god. I hope I don't hear no baby jingle bell, none of that. We don't need no baby. But I believe that's how the risky woohoo goes. 
Y'all can correct me if I'm wrong. Listen, I'm still learning how to play this game. I just realized how late it is. It is 6.32. I'm over here thinking it's like 3 o'clock. Time flies by. He needs to get going before Granny wakes up and gets suspicious. All right, girl, wake up. You need to use the bathroom, and we need to do some cleaning because the grilled cheese is spoiling, and I don't want anybody dying by flies because you can die by flies if your house is dirty in The Sims 2. Looks like he's just, like, looking around her bedroom, looking at her accomplishments like, wow. Wow, she is ambitious. She is. All right, Granny needs to wake up. So I'm glad they got their woohoo out the way. She needs to wake up and use the bathroom and eat a little something something. We have a lot of leftovers. Maybe they should get out of their underwear before she suspects something. So change into your everyday. And um, maybe you can kiss Malcolm goodbye because it's getting late. It is. Let's tender kiss him. He thinking about the woohoo. Oh, I'm cracking up. It must have been a very good time. Uh-uh, who's here? Oh my God, wait a minute. Whoa, is she dying? Oh my God. Oh, Selma just died. Well, I mean, she, I, I knew it was coming, but I didn't know it was supposed to happen now. What in the world? Y'all, I am so lost for words. Selma just really died. I thought she would last until the fifth part, but I guess she wanted to go a little earlier. I can't tell how she died. I would assume she died from old age because she was fighting with the Grim Reaper over an hourglass. Damn, I wish I could have like played a game with the Grim Reaper to bring her back. Selma is, I mean, Selma, oh my goodness, I can't even get my Sims right. Sage is going crazy. Look at her aspiration meter or whatever the heck this thing is called in the red. She is losing her mind because her granny died. And you know what? As she should, losing someone that you love hurts. It really does. Not the therapist here. I mean, she do need a little bit of therapy, some grieving therapy. That is so sad. Oh, Malcolm left at the wrong time. He should have been here when Selma died so that he could, you know, comfort Sage. I don't want to save my game right now. I'm depressed. This was not supposed to happen today. I'm just so glad that I did everything I was supposed to do, have Malcolm meet her, and have Selma see the bakery. Wow. Man, life is short, y'all. That is so crazy. I am going to end this part right here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new, and I will see you all in the next part. Bye, everyone.